Hello everyone, this is Electrobrush Triple Line. In today's tutorial, we will see the EMF equation of a generator. Let us consider a machine having P number of poles. Phi is the flux per pole given in Weber's. Z is the number of armature conductors A is the number of parallel paths we already know the number of parallel path is equals to P for lap winding and A is equals to 2 for wave winding. We already discussed it. Let N is the speed of rotation. In RPM. So the speed of rotation in RPF. in RPF is given by n by 60 so average induced EMF which is given by the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction which states that whenever the conductor cuts the magnetic flux a dynamically induced EMF is produced in a conductor and the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage and it is given by E is equals to N d phi by dt where phi is the flux per pole and is nothing but a number of turns here N is number of turns number of turns this n is the number of turns and that n is speed of rotation in rpm now for one conductor emf is nothing but a d phi by dt that is n is equals to 1 now if p is the number of a poles and phi is the flux per pole then flux cut in one revolution is p phi and the time taken to complete one revolution time taken to complete one revolution is equals to 60 by n so by putting these values we get average induced EMF is equals to P phi divided by dt is nothing that is time taken is nothing but 60 by n this is equals to P phi n by 60 so EMF induced per parallel path is P phi n by 60 P phi n by 60 into Z by A so we get generated EMF as 
सी फाइव एम जेड डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी ए सो दिस इज द जनरेटेड ई एम एफ इक्वेशन ऑफ अ जनरेटर नाउ वी नो दैट फॉर लैब पेंडिंग फॉर लैब पेंडिंग नंबर ऑफ पैरल पाथ इज इक्व टू पी सो द जनरेटेड ई एम एफ इक्वेशन बिकम्स पी फाइव एम जेड ओवर सिक्सटी इंटू पी 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 गेटिंग कैंसल्ड सो दिस बिकम्स फाइव एम जेड ओवर सिक्सटी and for wave binding we know that number of parallel path is equals to 2 so the generated emf is p phi and z over 120 we know that p z and a is constant so the generated emf equation if we are putting a constant k a in place of k z and a then it becomes k phi n so eg2 by eg1 that is generated equation is nothing but depends on phi 2 by phi 1 into n 2 by n 1 so this is a relation between the flux and the speed of rotation this is all about the emf equation of a generator thank you everyone for watching this video